Hello, I'm Amelia Mayo. I know I'm still wearing the same dress. <laughs> yeah, I will have my laser hair removal therapy tomorrow and I have to go to my theater. No, theologist, I'm sorry. So I had to make these videos in one day and I'm quiet in a rush, so excuse me, please. If you have seen my Sorry about, okay, now it starts to be sharp. About the quality. <laughs> so, I finished the last video about talking why it's not so important and I'm surprising why people don't think about the same way like me because it's touch our life and makes us a different person. And that's the reality I still kept it by time. <laughs> because I'm ex experienced it the regular way. Uh, yeah, I'm a male to female, girl, straight transgender, because I have not said before. <laughs> and art is makes my life different. And makes, let me talk about a little bit more personal view about my art. So especially my art. When I really restarted after I moved here in Sittor around 11 years ago to doing uh, paintings and drawings, I had a quiet wide view, you know, I was looking what is really motivated me, what is really inspired me. In the beginning I liked everything, I tried to catch everything which is beautiful. But there was no real concept behind and, and after a time when you have finally the skills, what you think you can have and uh, achieve a level of, of expression, then you start to looking for, or I was starting to looking to into me, what really makes my mind think of me. And I started to make some selfies. Uh, stories not with photograph of course i took photos actually the first few works i made with mirrors really traditional way but the quality of the painting was not that high than i would like to have and it was not that exceptional like i would have because if you watch my artwork i really like to be realistic it's a kind of put say traditional way of Eastern European, but I'm not that hyper-realistic than, or romantic-realistic than most of the Eastern European. I turn around realistic view. So slowly I move into me. With the topic. Why? Because I was examining myself. <laughs> Strange, isn't it? We are touched and there, we do that most of the time, we evaluate ourselves, where I think it's quite natural for the human being to question marks all the time who I am and where I come from and what I want to do and what's my meaning in my life. I think this question is pretty relevant. And these selfies, I call them selfies, of course, in traditional way we call it portrait paintings, but let be more than I formed myself, I might have formed myself, really, my look, into something which uh, I try to figure it out actually uh, how I can express my inside to the outward. And that's some marketing, but it's not necessary if you don't like, but my way, because I was talking before a really long time ago, to create art, I have a fair view, but when I'm actually painting, it starts to progress and develop by the work. So most of the time, all this artistic creative process are actually an adventure, an adventure to self-knowledge and an adventure to acknowledge myself by a painting, by an artwork, which of course has rules. I mean, an artwork 
has basically a way, a method to create, which of course won't by me, but every artist has a kind of method. Mine one is really like developing itself. And when I working on it, I need time sometimes to put it down. Like you cannot watch yourself in the mirror all the times and criticize yourself all the times because you will feel bad and you lost the whole picture. I mean, you don't see your whole yourself. You will focus on part on yourself and that's exactly like this with the artwork. And you became unsecure because of that little part, but if you see the whole one, then you became calm and you realize, oh, it's, it's just on the right place. So, yeah, I usually put it down, this works. Sometimes for years, and when I look back now, for example, on my online exhibitions, and you're watching the same topic, you can see how I made my way from one step to the other one by artwork by artwork to become who I am now. And, and that's really interesting uh, because I didn't make really consciously. When I worked on the artwork, of course I made it consciously, but somehow still it has a natural way of developing to find a progress which bring you to one place to the other is not actually sure it's better or worse but it's some other place and when somebody watch them they can see that progress and it can help to have this progress because first my trick was i paint myself of course in accessories which makes me feel feminine enough to express myself that usually was sexy and never <laughs> you can watch but in light and position like big traditional painter made uh, a woman ideal before so usually my pictures has a preview which I mix a reversion and all that, but that's pretty tradi big tradition in art history, you know, when one painter makes a painting and that inspires another one and they make a new concept about it. So actually that was mine one, because mine one was I'm a man, physically, I want to be a man, but I'm the woman and I want to see you like me, like a woman, I've had no transition and I'm realist, so you see on the pics who I am, Still, you should have the impress, I'm a woman. And it's worked. Uh, when I was in exhibition, I got so many times the surprise faces. When they passed the paintings, they didn't take attention because they looked traditional, they looked realistic. What is it can mean? You know, it's uh, just another woman naked or nearly naked. Then they watch me sitting close to my paintings and they recognize and then comes the surprise <laughs> and then comes more many 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 positive feedback because it's a sensitive way to put out your identity is not actually which maybe you the first impression is <laughs> and that's how it started so really one of my biggest topic and still which I'm more in inspirated about uh, how you see yourself and how other ones see you and uh, how affect you and how you affect the other. So it's pretty interesting and after that I was playing with mirrors. One side of mine, one is actually the same kind of outfit and so on. Me, I usually wear corset on this paintings and there I try to remind you unconsciously about stars which we mix idols like Marilyn Monroe uh, who the absolute femininity I mean she is a woman you know she is a great idol and, and I try to remind people for that but one of the view is pretty familiar with this view and one of the view of the mirror is on a side 
where you actually see, for example, my Adam Apple and so on, then you can recognize I'm actually not she. <laughs> <laughs> and then my last painting, and I guess that my masterwork at the moment in the last, but that should be always, you know, the next one should be always better. But now the last one which I made, I try to achieve a competition in Fianza one and a half year ago or something to get some money. <laughs> and also because, I, you know, Art Academy in Fianza has a huge history and a huge fame, so it would be really a great uh, uh, achievement, you know, to appreciate my work there. Did it happen? <laughs> But still, I think it's one of my best, and I think it's already show the process how they check the paintings. It was not the right one, and for my art, surely not, because uh, you really have to see in life. That one is a bigger painting, a life-size painting, where I am, like Botticelli, Birth of Venus. With my long hair open, I had brighter hair because the sun was up. And it's, the idea came with an accident. And I talked, oh my god, uh, I made this selfies and it, it, you see the phone in my hand, but in the other hand, it's, I just saw the photo and it reminded me absolutely for this famous painting, which of course one of the huge idol of Renaissance beauty. And it's been like that, you know. <laughs> I saw, saw it, what the, uh, the real one inside, and I thought, oh my god, that's so. So I got the idea. I, I have this posture, but I'm actually naked. I don't even have, you know, this uh, materials I would need, like, like on Botticelli, but, but the posture and my hair makes it so familiar. I thought I let it like this and I let on the paintings the phone actually to see its present. So yeah, it's, we can say it's a premiere of an old work. But I thought it's so fantastic. I was there before my metamorphosis, so before the hormone therapy. But I look myself like someone naked. And I hope other ones here too. So when I was actually working on this, and this was still not ready, this artwork, I was already exhibiting local art markets. I didn't want to sell, of course, but I was really interested if the effects which I'm thinking is work on people or not. So, you know, just pass away and, and check out, you know, what's going on here. If actually it's touched them or not, and it worked wonderful in real. In online it cannot come back because I, for example, I didn't paint a shell, but the background is a shell effect with a different layer of uh, colors with transparency, and how you move is to change color. That you don't see from a photo, I'm sorry. <laughs> And it was so, so fantastic because it shows also our cultural <clears throat> prison because the children always know it's a guy. I mean, sorry, someone who has born to be a man. The man always talked it's a woman and the woman was never sure in a family. So, you know, children has no purview, no, not the judge. They see what they see. They say what they see. Uh, man, they saw the pose you know, and naked and so it must be a woman, and, and I was actually naked, you know. <laughs> so it was pretty funny. And that was the first weeks when I had not the feeling I need any accessory to make me actually more woman than I am. It's so that's why when I said I didn't have dysphoria, or I didn't talk that I have dysphoria, and I always knew I'm a woman, I meant like this. I really talked before the hormone therapy, and I felt, and I was sure, 
I have no time all I can remember. I'm a woman. It's another question I realized I am born into a man body, but uh, and that's strange maybe, but I did that didn't make me this for it. I didn't question mark that identity of mine when I'm a woman. I I cannot explain, maybe psychiatrist can <laughs> or psychologist, sorry. But for me it was like this, so and it's really work only my art uh, by meeting. So I don't know. I don't have job. <laughs> I have faith in things. And I'm I'm sorry I'm a bit And I'm doing things which I think is important but at the moment and that's why I'm why I'm a luck now in the inspiration a little. It seems only important for me. <laughs> but let's hope it's different. I only didn't find the right place and that's why I hoping I will be able to move away from here, from somewhere where it's more exist cultural life. And I hopefully after lockdown it will exist again. <sighs> but I think with my works and which I actually started before the Danish girl which became really famous film and then most of the people who have seen my work talked I was working on this topic because of that. I was first. <laughs> I mean not the book. The, the film. So, but I think these things have for, for get a kind of view also if I think the film was not the real, the right one, and the book was completely different. But I have to say I have read in Hungarian, uh, translated, and I'm not quite sure the quality of the translation was good. I should read in the original language or, or in English, I mean, because I had obvious suspicions why it cannot be how it was written in Hungarian. But censorship, you know. <laughs> anyway, so that was for for about art. What does it mean for me art? And what is my art about? I could talk about my other topic too about uh, water reflection, which actually for me is the same topic. But that's the last talk I want to tell us with the devil because it's already 18 minutes and I hope you want to watch it. <laughs> if you like my video, thumbs up, subscribe and see you soon.